Hello everyone, welcome to Raja A Study Group. Today is Monday, I am Drishti and I welcome you all to yet another sessions or session of your current affairs and today we are going to discuss your current affairs which were in news in the past week or more <laughs> related to polity and governance. Let us get started. Right. So, today we are going to discuss a couple of very important topics. Now, uh, let us see the index for today. So, we are go <laughs> going to discuss about Kangaru quotes. Uh, Hindu mein ek article aaya tha, Hindu uh, explained me and uh, this particular topic has been prevalent in India particularly in your social issues and society section, Indian society section. <laughs> A couple of details we are going to discuss here about all these codes, how they operate, what are the legalities of them, etc, etc. Then we are going to discuss conjugal visits for prisoners. Now what does conjugal visit mean, right? Uh, how, what is the world status related to them, regarding them, right? And how does it impact the prisoner, the sentence they are serving, etc. Also, what is the world status? What are India's laws again uh, uh, regarding it? Also, what has Supreme Court said time and again about Article 21, which is your fundamental right and its relation with your conjugal visits, right? We are going to discuss that. Now, third, we are going to discuss about exit polls. Recently, <laughs> the results have come out about uh, the states of Gujarat and uh, Himachal Pradesh. And there was a lot of controversy revolving around exit polls and how they are to be operated, what ele election commission has said about them, right, we are going to discuss them and how do they impact your voters and the public in general, we are going to discuss everything in detail. Now our fourth topic for today is <coughs> our armed forces flag day. Now this was celebrated on 7th of December, what is the purpose of the day? how it began, the history of it and what is its significance, what is its role in our today's society. We are going to discuss everything about this as well, right. Let us get started. Before we get started, let us discuss your seize the mains question for today. Seize the mains is our free initiative which we have started where we give you one question daily and uh, you can write the answer for it. Also, you can post it on our website where it will be evaluated by our team of experts entirely free of cost and hence you can improve in your answer writing the whole practice altogether. Right, aaj ka question dekh lete hain. Now, today's question is on prison reforms. Now, highlight the issues associated with the state of Indian prisons. Theek hai? I say it in every session, aapko jo bhi question diya hota hai try addressing all the parts of it. Please do address all its parts. So, this is your part 1. Highlight the issues associated with the state of Indian prisons. Second topic is briefly discuss the measures that can be brought to improve the condition of prisons in India. This is your second part. You have to answer in 250 words, 15 marks ka question. Okay? So, address all the questions, address all the parts. Uh, a couple of topics I am going to discuss right now, a couple of topics related, a couple of aspects of this particular topic will be discussed by Surbhi ma'am in the evening session. So, you can collaborate both these and from there you can see how well you have written your answer, how well you have approached your answer and what all else has to be done so that it gives you an extra edge as compared to other candidates in your answer writing practice, right? Uh, hello Webhav, good afternoon. How to keep yourself motivated during preparation because there are so many negative elements outside. I will get back to this Webhav, uh, let us just finish the session today and everyone all of you, you can post your questions whatever doubts you have. Uh, even if they are not necessarily pertaining to a uh, subject, I will try to address them, right. And uh, uh, please post the answers and I uh, will try taking them up after the session is done. Ansh, uh, you send answer at the portal, but it is not accepting the sheet. Even the photograph, if you click a picture of it and post it, even then you are facing issues regarding this. Ansh, I am waiting for, okay. 
uh, what if if uh, is there a provision where you can copy paste the answer type and post your answer or convert into pdf convert the picture into pdf maybe have you tried that Okay, try converting your answer into PDF and posting it. If it still doesn't work, अच्छा, okay. So then do one thing. Description box में there are a couple of numbers given. So you can call them up and then you can ask them to address this problem. I will take up your this issue with the tech team as well, right? So they will be able to do something about it, right? And meanwhile, you keep on doing one thing. You keep on writing your answers, ठीक है? Answer miss नहीं करना. Keep on writing your answers. Evaluation एक बार में हो जाएगी, right? You're welcome, Ansh. Now, let's get started with our topic today. Vibha, welcome to your topic again. Uh, the doubt you have will come back to that again, right? Now, uh, <laughs> Hindu explained के section में there was an article uh, about this kangaroo courts, kangaroo uh, adalate. Now. पर्टिकुलरली कृष्णागिरि की बात हो रही है देर वॉज अ कैंगरी कोर्ट विच अंडर माइंस इंडिविजुअल्स राइट टू लव राइट कंगारू कोर्ट है इंडिया फ्रॉम सिंस टाइम एंड मेमोरियल कृष्णागिरी की बात हो रही है इट इज इन कर्नाटका सो दे आर दीज आर कॉल्ड कंगारू कोर्ट्स इन ओडिशा देर आर कॉल्ड बंगारू अदालतें एंड इन हरियाणा दे आर पॉपुलरली नोन एज कैन एनी वन टेल मी वॉट आर दे पॉपुलरली नोन एज इन हरियाणा वेरी फेमस it is in news time and again can anyone tell me ah right ansh these are known as khap panchayats right so they dictate they do not follow necessarily the law of the land and uh, uh, they have their own rules and regulation and they actually see to it that particularly your societal methods societal laws they are run as per the laws they have framed haryana was uh, in news a couple of years ago a couple of years back particularly because of this gotra thing so uh, people who are who belong to the same gotra they are said that they cannot marry each other but there were a couple of instances where uh, people from same gotra chose to marry but it was forbidden by khap panchayat and then it resulted into honor killings and all right so it was a news <coughs> now again same issue but in the different region of the country altogether so now this is kangaroo court thodi si detail dekh lete hain kya kya hai kangaroo court ke bare mein now it is an unofficial court which is held by a group of people in order to try someone to try someone regarded especially without a good evidence as guilty of a crime or a misdemeanor right agar aap literal sense ki baat karo this is what oxford dictionary says now in literal sense it is used to refer to proceedings or activities where a judgment is made in a manner which is unfair biased and lack legitimacy theek hai they have their own set of notions and uske according they give judgments ki kya karna hai kaise karna hai right Now, if we talk about the issues which are associated, particularly with the Khap Panchayats, this system does not work on the standards of law or justice. See, law of the land, which is Constitution of India, hai, they do not necessarily follow all that, and they have their own rules and regulations. Now, this is the procedure. The procedure is only conducted as a formality. They already have their notions about certain things, and जो उनका रीति रिवाज है, as per that, they Uh, give out the verdict and that has to be followed that is deemed to be the legitimate one now if we talk about kangaru courts they are known for working against the phrase innocent until proven guilty pehle se hi they usually make up their mind about it now the court does not allow to appeal against its judgment there is no higher court available right normally kaise hamari polity function karti hai if your tried and district court you can go to high court session courts theek okay? hai then you can go to supreme court then we have the president of it's a capital punishment right but kangaroo court mein aisa nahi hai whatever once the verdict is given that has to be followed and there is quick implementation of whatever verdict has been given now if we <coughs> sorry if we talk about when did the usage begin and why kangaroo so 
इस फ्रेज का मतलब तो क्लियर नहीं है वाई द यूजेज ऑफ कंगारू वर्ड बट इट स्टार्टेड समवेयर इट इज प्रिडिक्टेड दैट इट स्टार्टेड समवेयर नियर नाइनटीन सेंचुरी नाइनटीन सेंचुरी में स्टार्ट हुआ एंड इट कुड बी टू इवोक अ सेंस दैट जो जस्टिस प्रोग्रेस है इट इज डन बाय लीप्स एंड बाउंड सी हैव यू सीन द मार्सुपियल कैंगरू कैसा होता है इट हैज अ पाउच एंड इट जम्प्स ठीक है लीप्स इट टेक्स लीप्स एंड बाउंड सो सिमिलरली उसके लिए कहा जा रहा है कि जस्टिस ऑल्सो इट टेक्स लीप्स एंड बाउंड एंड हिंस इट इज नोन एज योर कैंगारू कोर्ट वर्ड इट नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द कैंगारू कोर्ट्स सो देर वर सम ऑफ द कॉमन कोर्ट्स ड्यूरिंग स्टालन एरा स्टालन आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू हैव मस्ट स्टडीड इन योर वर्ल्ड हिस्ट्री टाइम ठीक है स्टालन एरा एंड योर सोवियत यूनियन एरा राइट विच वॉज फेमस फॉर योर मॉस्को ट्रायल्स ऑफ ग्रोड ग्रेट सोवियत पर्ज राइट नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट इन एट नेशनल लेवल हाउ दिस कैंगरू कोर्ट होल सिस्टम इज रेप्लीकेटेड विद द मीडिया इट सेल्फ नाउ अगर मीडिया की बात करें मोस्ट ऑफ द मीडिया यू सी पर्टिकुलरली द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मीडिया इफ यू सी द न्यूज चैनल्स ऑफ टुडे मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर इन इनफॉर्म्ड दे आर बायस्ड राइट एंड दे आर एजेंडा ड्रिवन जितनी भी डिबेट्स होती हैं दे आर एजेंडा ड्रिवन एंड जितने भी इशूज हैं विच आर स्टिल पेंडिंग इन द कोर्ट्स दे आर थरली थरली डिस्कस्ड बाई देम इन अ बाइस्ड मैनर एंड अल्टीमेटली दीज हैव द केपेबिलिटी टू इम्पैक्ट योर जस्टिस डिलीवरी नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट लैक ऑफ अकाउंटेबिलिटी ऑफ मीडिया प्रिंट मीडिया को स्टिल हम थोड़ा बहुत लेजिटमेट थोड़ा बहुत ऑथेंटिक मान सकते हैं इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मीडिया इज नॉट ट्रस्ट वर्दी एट ऑल एंड सोशल मीडिया इज नोटोरियसली फेमस फॉर योर फेक न्यूज स्प्रेडिंग फेक न्यूज ठीक है तो सोशल मीडिया पे आप बिल्कुल भी ट्रस्ट नहीं कर सकते हैं राइट सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट कंगारू कोर्ट्स व्हाट ऑल फीचर्स इट हैज राइट हाउ इट हैज इन्वॉल्व वी हैव सीन ठीक है स्टालिन एरा एंड सोवियत यूनियन के एरा से आया है एंड हाउ डिड इट गेट नेम हाउ डिड इट गेट इट्स नेम ऑल्सो इसका इंडियन सोसाइटी पे क्या इम्पैक्ट रहा है राइट right? Now let's get ahead to our second topic for today. Conjugal visits की बात हो रही है Conjugal visit for prisoners की बात करें तो state of Punjab they have furthered the cause of right to life and personal liberty, life and personal liberty of prisoners by allowing conjugal visits for inmates. Inmates कौन होते हैं जो आपके जेल में होते हैं कैदी होते हैं Whether uh, who who are serving their sentence, ठीक है Now conjugal visit का मतलब क्या होता है Conjugal visit means the time a husband and a wife. See whether wife को sentence मिला हुआ है या whether husband को sentence मिला हुआ है the time they are allowed to spend with their spouse in the prison for uh, because the wedlock gives them this right, right? So that whole visit का जो episode होता है the process होता है that is known as your conjugal visit. Now it is said that this initiative will strengthen up the matrimonial bonds and ensure prisoners good conduct if we talk about conjugal rights again i have already told you these are the rights which are created by marriage these are the rights which are created by marriage and it is the right of the husband or the wife to uh, for to have the company of their spouse now if we talk about in the context of prisons the conjugal visits they refer to the concept of allowing a prisoner to spend some time in privacy theek hai main baat hai yahan pe privacy ki with the spouse within the precincts of the jail within the boundaries of the jail now jahan privacy ki baat aa gayi wahan pe fundamental right ki baat aa gayi so now the question arises is it a part of your fundamental right or not are prisoners allowed to access to exercise this right or not and how far is it in how far is it in line with the fundamental rights theek hai now it is argued that conjugal visits jo hai these are fundamental rights of the spouses of prisoners and prisoner rights ki agar hum baat kare considering international standards prisoner rights are <laughs> internationally recognized through united nations standard minimum rules for the treatment of prisoners the universal declaration of human rights 
the international covenant on civil and political rights etc there are different laws ye sare laws hain under which prisoner rights are seen and are taken care of now jitne bhi instruments hain prisoners they are guaranteed through them to the right and to life and inherent dignity now the right to maintain family relations including your conjugal visits these are included in these treaties most prisons isme se most prisons act rules across country except the importance of maintenance of community family and social relations agar hum inke relevance ki baat kare to conjugal visits can have positive impacts in the form of psychological health benefits for prisoners preservation of your marital ties and sorry about this preservation of marital ties and reduction in the rates of homosexuality and sexual aggression within the prison ye argue kara ja raha hai how far does it hold true how far is it actually valid in the real life we still do not know about this but this is strongly being argued because sexual harassment is one such thing which is one of the most untalked and one of the most under discussed topic very dark but under discussed topic of prison system not just in india but abroad itself if we talk about the judicial views what has court said about it time and again so there was a particular case of sunil batra versus delhi administration in 1979 here supreme court justice ayer observed that visit to prisoners visit to prisoners by family and friends are solace in isolation and the whole dehumanized system can derive <coughs> people from their humane side theek hai now high court is pure case mein held that right to the conju- right to conjugality conjugal visits is available to prisoners under right article 21 your uh, but it is still subject to restrictions and it is not an absolute right now again there was another case in mehraj versus state of 2022 here madras high court said that whether conjugal rights form a part of right to life and personal liberty guaranteed by article 21 there have to be differential standards for law abiders and people who have been uh, repelling against law who have been violating the law and hence the rights of conjugality are different for both these sections now again here also court has said that these rights are not absolute rights and hence it has to be taken care by the people right now let's get ahead to our next topic of today exit polls now recently i already told you gujarat and himachal mein elections hue hain and there were controversies around exit polls now what is an exit poll exit poll are basically the data where the voters are asked which political party they have uh, political party they have supported and Uh, they have casted their vote in election to that particular party or not, right? So, pure like, your pie chart and graph nikal ke aata hai. An exit poll is supposed to give an indication of which way the elections are moving ahead and which party next might come in power. And again, the loyalties of voters they are tested in this exit poll altogether. Now, there are two types of polls. One is opinion poll. One is exit poll. Now, pre-election survey होगा तो उसको बोला जाएगा opinion poll. Post-election survey होता है तो that is known as your exit poll. So, this is this might actually help political parties how to proceed further, how to uh, form their election manifesto, etc., etc. But exit poll is something which is done later on. But there are certain issues. <coughs> which have come up with the exit polls now who conducts exit polls there are n number of organizations who tie themselves up with media organizations and they conduct the exit polls and these surveys these uh, exit polls can be conducted either face to face or they can be done online anonymously if we talk about their significance exit poll is supposed to give the exit poll is supposed to give an indication of which way winds are blowing in election along with along with aur kya kya isme uh, issues address hote hain 
पर्सनालिटीज एंड लॉयल्टीज दैट हैव इन्फ्लुएंस्ड वोटर्स ठीक है ये सारा कुछ उसमें से काउंट होता है ना वॉट आर द क्रिटिसिजम नाउ द एजेंसी इफ इट इज ऑलरेडी बायस्ड तो जो भी इसका रिजल्ट आएगा एग्जिट पोल का दैट इज नॉट इंटायरली ऑथेंटिक एंड वहां पर एक पूरी कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी निकल के आती है ऑल्सो द प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ दीज सर्वेज दे कैन बी इंफ्लुएंस्ड बाई द चॉइस वर्डिंग एंड टाइमिंग ऑफ द क्वेश्चन एंड बाई द नेचर ऑफ पीपल ड्रॉन देयर ठीक है कितना आपने सैम्पल स्पेस लिया है एंड हाउ मेनी पीपल देयर आर पर्टिकुलरली ऑफ वॉट आइडियोलॉजी ये पूरी चीज इस चीज को इम्पैक्ट करती है ऑल्सो इफ दे आर मोटिवेटेड एंड स्पॉन्सर्ड बाय राइवल्स देन ऑल्सो दे माइट शो अ लॉट ऑफ डिस्टॉर्टिंग रिजल्ट वॉट आर द मैंडेट्स अगेन रिगार्डिंग द एग्जिट पोल्स नाउ करेंटली इफ वी टॉक अबाउट एग्जिट पोल्स दे कांट बी टेलीकास्ट फ्रॉम बिफोर वोटिंग बिगिन टिल द लास्ट फेज कंक्लूड्स एक बार लास्ट फेज हो जाता है उसके बाद एग्जिट पोल्स आने शुरू होते हैं Now here election commission has also mandated that while carrying the result of exit poll and opinions the newspapers and channels here they should disclose sample of the electorate details of polling methodology sari details aapko deni padengi ki aapne kitne logo se actually kya kya jaake poocha and based on which aap ye results dikha rahe ho earlier there used to be a lot of discrepancies in this whole process but since election commission has mandated that you have to give the data you have to show the picture of it uske baad se ye exit polls puri line mein aa gayi hain right if we talk about the international standards the global present 16 european union countries they have already banned the reporting of opinion polls and again this ban it has ranged from a full month to just 24 hours before polling day alag alag country ka alag alag case scenario depend karta hai only italy slovakia and luxembourg italy slovakia and luxembourg they have it for more than 7 days french ban has been reduced to 24 hours on the voting day and jo uk hai there are no restrictions on publishing the results of opinion polls however the result of exit polls they can't be published until the voting is over same jo india wala pattern hai wohi follow ho raha hai or we can say the british legacy ko hum leke aaye hain we are still following the british legacy right now let's come to our fourth topic for today armed forces flag day why this was in news every year 7th of december india commemorates its armed forces flag day what is the significance this day particularly is observed to encourage our public engagement and support across the country for the following goals kya kya goals hain it is done to provide rehabilitative assistance to the relatives of war victims war widows ho gayi ya fir children ho gaye which are still <coughs> unable to earn their own bread and butter to yahan pe rehabilitative and survival means unko provide kare jayenge now here to take initiatives to safeguard the well being of service members of jitni bhi मेंबर्स हैं उसके एंड देयर फैमिलीज एंड टू असिस्ट फॉर्मर सर्विस मेंबर्स एंड देयर फैमिलीज वंस दे हैव रिटायर्ड एंड उनका वेलफेयर पूरा उसको ओवरसी करने के लिए इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द हिस्टोरिकल बैकग्राउंड तो द डिफेंस मिनिस्टर्स कमेटी ऑन ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी एट नाइनटीन फोर्टी फोर्टी नाइन दे क्रिएटेड आर्म्ड फोर्सेज फ्लैग डे फंड नाइनटीन नाइनटी थ्री में डिफेंस मिनिस्टर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडिया दे एमालगमेटेड जितने भी रेलिवेंट वेलफेयर फंड हैं कौन कौन से थे पहले विच वर फंड फॉर वॉर विक्टिम्स केंद्रीय सैनिक बोर्ड फंड द एक्स वेलफेयर सर्विसमैन फंड एंड अदर यूनिट्स टू एस्टैब्लिश आर्म फोर्सेस फ्लैग डे फंड जितने भी मिक्सचर ऑफ फंड्स था उनको मिला के एक सिंगल फंड बना दिया गया एंड विच वॉज विच इज स्टिल यूज एज द वेलफेयर फंड फॉर ऑल सोर्ट्स ऑफ मीन्स विच कुड हेल्प द सर्विंग पर्सनल एंड देयर फैमिलीज ऑल्सो द पीपल हु रिटायर्ड और हु हैव अटेंड मार्टेडम तो उनकी जितनी भी फैमिलीज हैं उनको सपोर्ट करने के लिए द होल मनी गोज फ्रॉम दिस पर्टिकुलर फंड नाउ हेयर ऑल्सो उसके कुछ और जो ऑब्जेक्टिव हैं वो क्या है इट एम्स टू रेज डोनेशन फॉर द वेलफेयर ऑफ आर्म फोर्सेज स्टाफ दिस डे पर्टिकुलरली इज ऑब्जर्व टू ऑनर इंडियन सोल्जर्स सेलर्स एंड पायलट्स एंड इट ऑल्सो पे इज ट्रिब्यूट टू हंड्रेड एंड थाउजेंड ऑफ मैन who have died protecting their country who have achieved attained martyrdom for their country 
right so every day uh, every year 7th of december we celebrate as armed forces flag day and this year also it was celebrated uh, i hope char topic humne discuss kare hain all of these are clear if you guys have any doubts you can post them in comments i'll try taking them up the questions okay uh web of uh, uh good afternoon so see you will have to keep yourself motivated during pre preparation because i get it there are a lot of negative elements outside but until and unless you are focused the hard part is staying focused saal mein ek bar paper hota hai and you daily you have to push through what you can do is form a time table and take beech mein chote chote breaks when you reward yourself as breaks taking breaks then you will realize things will become a lot more easier for you right also if you have any problem in making a time table you can always come and see us in the institute i am pretty sure if you meet any teacher they are going to help you out with the same problem right i do not know as because i don't know your journey journey right now so i cannot guide you per se how to proceed ahead but the key is to have a realistic time table and follow it uske hisab se when you will start preparing i am pretty sure you will find it very easy to stay motivated and move ahead in your preparation right so these all were the topics for today if you guys have any doubts you can post them in comments i'll try taking them up in next class till then stay tuned and keep learning keep watching thank you so much bye bye